Fitter Assistant Cutting a workpiece with a hacksaw Clamp the workpiece firmly in the vise and cut as close to the vise as possible. This eliminates chatter and vibration which could lead to blade breakage. The pressure on the forward stroke must remain constant to keep the cut even. Therefore, the body mass must be distributed evenly to stay balanced and in full control of the hacksaw. Here you can see how the feet should be placed relative to the cut to achieve this. There must be no pressure on the blade on the return stroke. Always cut on the right hand side of the vise if you are right handed and on the left hand side if you are left handed so that if the blade snaps your hands will slip away from the vise and not into the vise. Not cutting on the correct side may cause serious injury. Use the thumb of your left hand if you are right handed to guide the blade until it starts the cut. Apply enough pressure on the forward stroke to make the teeth cut. If there is not enough pressure, the teeth will slide over the workpiece and become blunt. Lift the saw slightly to release the pressure on the return stroke. Remember, the blade cuts only on the forward stroke. Use the whole length of the blade and make about 40 to 50 strokes per minute. Cutting at a faster rate than this may cause enough heat to damage the temper in the teeth, therefore bluntening them. The teeth are set to move freely in the cut. Should a blade break or become blunt before completing a cut and a replacement is necessary, it is not advisable to continue in the same cut with the new blade. As the blade goes blunt, the slot made by the blade becomes narrower. To continue the cut in the slot will usually cause the new blade to stick and become ruined in the first few strokes. If possible, rotate the work and start a new cut from the other side. Start a new cut next to the first cut if the material cannot be rotated. When the blade has almost cut through the material, support the piece of material being cut with your hand to prevent it from dropping when the cut is completed. Note: Release the tension on the blade before you replace the hacksaw in your toolbox. This prevents the frame of the hacksaw losing its springs.